What we want to show you now is a demonstration of how an entrance mat and a finishing mat work to stop soil and water from entering a building. We've put down a water hog premier mat and one of our tri-grip mats and we're going to put sand and water on both mats then we're going to walk across them to demonstrate the effect of a mat at the entrance to a building and whether or not it works very, very well uh, to contain the soil and the water uh, that are on the mat. First of all, I'll put some sand on both mats. This is uh, typical sand, if you will. Those of you who are in areas where there is snow and sand is used for traction, will find this to be fairly representative of what, uh, what you see on a normal winter day. <coughs> One of the things you'll notice that uh, there's a difference in where the sand goes on these two mats due to the construction. Uh, the, the sand tends to lay more on the surface of the finishing mat. And in a normal uh, usage, what you'd really want is to have an entrance mat followed by a finishing mat. So there's the sand. Now what I have here is a picture that has two cups of water. And I'm going to put the water on the mat. Two cups. Two cups of water on each. I think right away you can see uh, pretty clearly that there's a difference in the way the mats react to the water uh, as well as to the sand. And now what we're going to do is have people walk across this and uh, just observe what happens to the sand as the uh, traffic uh, goes across it. Now we'll walk across the water hog mat, same process, and we want to observe a very, very graphic difference in the amount of sand that is tracked off and tracked into the building. To summarize, what we've demonstrated today is how an entrance mat works to effectively stop soil and water from entering your building. You've seen the bi-level construction water hog mat and the, its ability to stop soil and water and store it and minimize the tracking of that soil and water into a building. Uh, you've seen that very dramatically here. One of the things you may not have noticed that in today's environment, very few people really wipe their feet when entering a building. It's something that we've if you will, lost sight of. And so what we have to do is come up with ways that we can actually effectively wipe their feet as they enter our buildings. In addition to that, uh, you may not have realized that there's been a change in footwear that people use today. They're probably the majority of the shoes that are worn today have some sort of traction or some sort of tread uh, that uh, is either because of styling or because uh, uh, they want uh, the, the traction that it comes from that. So there's more dirt being brought into the building, and the more effective the mat can be, the better off you're going to be in terms of what you have to clean up um, at a uh, fairly high cost getting it out of the building once it gets in. The water hog mat is the very best way to control soil and water at the door. <laughs>